I thought that if I told people that I had a disease that was potentially crippling, I would be dismissed in the race to be successful. Hi, I'm Karin, and I am a kidney transplant and a pancreas transplant recipient. I didn't want to connect with anyone else who, who had diabetes because I didn't relate to anyone else who had diabetes. I wanted to be strong, I wanted to be young, I wanted to be healthy, and I wanted to succeed. Type 1 diabetes should not be hurting anyone anymore. My goal was to be part of that effort to really make this disease extinct. Eighteen years after diagnosis, I had come off a flight from Seattle and I could not put on my shoes that I'd taken off on the plane ride. My feet were so swollen, I was so tired, I just knew something was wrong. Within about two weeks, I was diagnosed with severe kidney failure. About a week after that, I couldn't read the paper and my eyes were failing. My blood pressure was sitting at 220 over 180 and I was a walking stroke risk. I could not get upset, I could not laugh, I, I wasn't allowed to increase the blood pressure more. And my eyes were bleeding, literally, and I had to go to a physician, an ophthalmologist, a retinal specialist, sit in a chair and wait for him to shoot laser into my eyes. So the more he shot into my eyes, the more I knew that that healthy tissue that helped me to see what I wanted to see, to be alive, you know, was going away and could not be replaced. I knew that if I can't get in shape here, I'm not gonna survive and I may need additional treatment. I was maintaining my job at J&J. &J. I was driving to New Brunswick from New York City every morning, but my blood sugar was so brittle that I, I just didn't know if I would wake up because my blood sugar could go low and I wouldn't be able to save myself. So this was a very terrifying experience. This was not sustainable. I was lucky. My father volunteered and we went through the process of a kidney transplant in March of 2009. My transplants are a success, measured by anything on the outside. They are a success. My kidney works 13 years later. It works. I do not need dialysis. I do need some medication, but it's so much better than the handicaps that I had during the time of end-stage renal disease. And my pancreas works, so I don't have to measure my blood sugar. I don't have to take my insulin several times a day, and I don't have to worry about the lows and the highs. And importantly, you know, after having these transplants and recovering in my body, I was able to conceive a child, which was my dream. So whatever I do going forward, I need to start thinking more about the future. And I can't just be living the day. That's my goal, is to, to be healthy to provide and to secure a future for Lee so that she doesn't have to go through what I had to go through. Because ultimately I am a dreamer, I am an optimist, and I'm a fighter, uh, and I will never give up.